A few months ago, I went absolutely insane and sent away a few hundred of my Pokemon cards to PSA to get graded. I either bought, traded, or purchased these cards, and I just wanted to take my shot. And today, I received two huge boxes in the mail, and I want to show you what grades I got. Also, guys, I want to mention that I'm going to be giving away two of these slabs in today's episode. All you got to do is, number one, be a subscriber of the channel. Number two, like this video. Number three, hit the bells for notifications. And lastly, leave a comment down below letting me know which one was your favorite card from today's episode. All right, let's get into it. All right, I have no idea what order they're in. I'm just taking them out as I get them. All right, first one is going to be, ooh, Clefairy from Japanese base set. So if I remember correctly, in this batch that's coming back, it's going to be Japanese and then some contemporary. I sent a lot of Japanese, and they were all, like, packed fresh, so I'm hoping for the best, honestly. All right, next one. Yo, there's a Gyarados Hyper Rare from Evolving Skies. That is a big card. Next is a Ho-Oh from Hidden Fates, PSA 10. From what I remember, guys, these cards were in excellent, excellent condition, so we should be getting some pretty fair grades, is my hope. Guzzlord, Hidden Fates. I don't know if that's worth the plastic that it's in, but that's okay. Sylveon, PSA 10. This card is sick. I remember I opened a lot of Hidden Fates off camera. Uh, some on camera, but mostly off, and I got some insane hits. No SV49 Charizard, but... Still insane. Yo, there's that Galay Trainer Gallery from Cosmic Eclipse. I'm going to be dropping a Cosmic Eclipse episode that is pretty legit. I might have already dropped it by the time you're seeing this, so maybe maybe I did. Maybe it's in the eye already. I don't know. That's my. It's, it's a mashup. I don't know what's happening. Guys, come on. Glaceon GX. We are definitely getting the love out of Hidden Fates. There's no doubt about that. Again, Reshiram GX out of Hidden Fates, and that's in a 9. It looks a little bit off-centered. Uh, from right to left. These will... Ugh, PSA 8. So that's a Shining Legends card. Full Art, GX, Entei. Uh, these cards will actually be in my next batch of mystery boxes. I know you guys were looking forward to those. So you're going to be seeing these again shortly. Uh, I still haven't, you know, figured out how we're separating these. But you will be getting your... Oh my gosh. So I pulled this off camera. This is a Hyper Rare Blastoise and Piplup GX uh, from Cosmic. That is a sick card. I, I remember it was a little bit off-centered, so it did have a chance for a... Oh, there's, there we go, baby. Fusion Strike Secret Rare, another card that I pulled off camera. Guys, this is the second best card in Vivid Voltage, believe it or not. I was so hot on Vivid Voltage, and it's turning out to be a big L as a set in general, but that's just because they released alternate arts right after. Yo! Man, if we could just drop this Selly stamp, we would be in luck. It would add a, it would add a couple zeros to that value. I will say that. Wah! Wah? 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 I remember pulling this. It was perfect, so maybe that's that. PSA quality control that we've been talking about. Let, no, let's not do it. Oh, bro. We needed that in a 10. That is okay. Nine is all right with me. On contemporary, I'm pretty, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty like, you know, I'm pretty much expecting nines and tens. So when I do get the curveball eight, oh, we definitely wanted this in a 10. That's all right, though. That's a Magnemite uh, trainer gallery out of Cosmic Eclipse. That's a dope card. Oh. This is a bigger card in a 10. Uh, we will take the 9, though. That was out of Hidden Fates, I believe. Yeah, Hidden Fates. Man, we had a lot of Hidden Fates. We absolutely love to see this in the PSA 10. We have this already. Whoa. This is going to one of you guys. Holy smokes, is that a freaking heater. Oh, my gosh. This thing... This card is actually kind of perfect. Maybe, maybe should have sent it to BGS. Just let's go, guys. PSA 10. We love to see it. Umbreon Classic Collection Celebrations. I man, will those make a comeback? I I really hope so. All right, next batch. Finishing this box. There's another Greninja in a PSA 10. Man, we the Hidden Fates have have gone. Oh, we pulled this on an episode. It's a Radiant Collection Sylveon. We opened some Generations, which is 20th anniversary, for those of you that don't know. And holy smokes, did we pull some heaters. Ah, oh, we pulled that to off-camera breakpoint. Yeah, you guys would be surprised. I opened oh, I open, I open a lot off-camera. That's also another Radiant Collection. It's one of the best cards you can pull 
uh, radiant st radiant wise out of uh, out of 20th anniversary. We pulled. Let's go. There's that brilliant stars Umbreon V Max uh, trainer gallery. We pull, we open a lot off camera. I guess we should just record everything. Oh man, that would have been a huge card. Generations again. These are all mixed up. I'm sure the the they do that. Th I send them in order, but they come back out of order. Like I didn't sell. Oh, let's go, baby. Celebi and Venusaur GX. I send them out of order, but then they come back. No, I'm sorry. I send them in order, and then they come back out of order somehow. I, I'm, sh I'm I'm sure you guys have experienced the same thing. Are those Articunos just... Wow. I sent in three of those. Two eights and a nine. I guess we'll take that. They weren't in the craziest of good conditions. Like, there was some edge... Let's... Go. That's a huge card. This is one of the best cards out of uh, Unbroken Bonds. This is the first full art trainer that I pulled out of Unbroken Bonds back when it came came out. I'll never forget this. I bought a booster box of Unbroken Bonds off of Amazon for ninety dollars delivered. Imagine that. Okay, put that in your in your brain and shake it around a little bit. Oh, there's another bird from Generations. Those are those are pretty big cards. A couple hundred dollar cards in a PSA ten. That is out of Flashfire. So you think, oh no, that's just Evolutions. No, that's XY Flashfire. That's where this artwork first appeared. Uh, and this is not the secret rare. This is the number 13. So they do have a secret rare that looks very similar, just has some gold bordering. Uh, but that's still a big hitter. That is a big card. Let's go. This comes out of a bigger collection. Um, I believe, yeah, t okay, 2020. I'm trying to remember it at, off the top of my head. But Sword and Shield figure collection. This used to be a very, very wanted card. It's definitely cooled down since then. But very cool that that came into PSA 10. Oh, my gosh. Honey, look away, because Skyla's... I don't know what she's doing, but she's doing... But she... Uh, Stop it. Next card. Ah! No, honey. Back away. Glad, I'm glad it's a seven. You are a seven. You are a seven compared to my wife, okay? You are a seven. My wife is a gem mint. Get some help. Let's get back on the 10 train with this shining Gyarados from Breakpoint. I love to see that. Yo, we are just... We are killing it. Oh, then there... Okay. Japanese Chansey. With a little happy face. That's just, I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. All right, we are almost done here. A few more racks. Yeah, we could definitely love to see that in a PSA 10. But we will take it in a 7, of course. Did we get any 8s in, in Japanese? I mean, what 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 is going on here? Look at where I would jump around. 7? No! Come on. Let's go. That is a huge hitter at a breakpoint. That's a full art ho o -Oh EX at a breakpoint. There's a Kabutops PSA 9 Japanese fossil. We'll take that. Oh, is this not just an absolute smoke show of a card? That Mew. I think we sent over. Yeah, we sent a few of them. Okay. Well, let's see. Both eights. I guess I guess we'll take that. We'll just we'll just take that and and go away happy. I don't know if we got any tens in Japan. I spoke too soon. Seedra out of Japanese gym. PSA 10. I have no idea how much that is worth, but we will take... Oh, what a beautiful artwork. That is Giovanni's Gyarados, also out of gym uh, Japanese. There's another Entei randomly. So both Entei's got an 8, if I remember correctly. Chansey doing the most with a 9. We love to see it. Hypno. Okay, PSA 8. I guess we'll take... <laughs> This hollow pattern looks weird. Hey, but what about the swirl? What about the... Look at that macho... Hey, swirls get girls. You know what I'm saying, boys? Okay, stop it. And... Whoa. This... Okay. This is out of Roaring Skies. Let me see if I can get it to focus. This is out of Roaring Skies. This is one of the sickest Ray Ray artworks. I wish this was a full art, honestly. Look at this. This artwork is super mean. I love that. You guys forgot about that artwork. There is a Dragonair PSA 7 at a gym. The, I'm telling you guys, oh my gosh, swirl on swirl. These Japanese cards were in very nice condition. There's Hidden Face. I guess it's hard though when you, I, that is my mistake for putting them in with Hidden Fates because you're just like, you're asking for trouble because if it's not perfect and then you send in a perfect Hidden Fates card, it's going to be like, oh, why did we get, we gave that a 10 and, that, and not that, you know, it's like, I don't know. There's a nine secret rare Gyarados at a break point, if I'm not mistaken. I kind of passed by it. Cosmic nine. We'll take that Steelix. Moltres in an eight. Yeah, we did not do great on Japanese. There's a, there's a Mega Ray Ray. Oh, I guess we so sent three of these Entes in? 
And then two eights and an yes, there we go. There's a Japanese 10 in the vile plume, which is, you know, not the one we're looking for a 10, but that's okay. We'll take it. All right, last rack, guys. This has been amazing. What an incredible return. No matter what happens, I'm super stoked on this return. We did absolutely amazingly. There's a Venusaur Mega out of Evolutions. And then there's a 10 Dragonite Full Art. I love gold out of Evolutions. Boom, Mega Blastoise. That is, I don't think I sent a Mega Charizard in. We could have gotten the Trifecta. Imagine sequential certs in the, in those Megas. That would have been a, pr a pretty sick thing. I'm, I'm getting pretty, like like mentally sick with uh psa getting sequential cert numbers is now a, an important thing for me believe it or not or it's a thing that i look for uh i don't know you know i don't know if that's a thing for you guys but i like having sequential cert numbers it brings an extra level oh baby it brings an extra level of value in terms of uh like collectability for me for me in general oh my god wow let's go is that hard to get what is that hard to get in a psa 10 that's an alakazam out of 1996 base japanese base first print of, i mean th this is like crazy guys what a beautiful card we love to see that in a 10 one of you guys is going to get that in one of my mystery boxes stay tuned mystery boxes are inbound oh <laughs> guys how close were we how close we look at that swirl coming right off the snout right off the blasty snout we oh yeah well eight is eight is okay on that wheezing let's not waste the 10. yeah that that blastoise in a 10 is over a thousand dollars easy easy i bet the alakazam is not far behind i bet the alakazam is a couple hundred dollars in a psa 10 honestly would not hate to have another one there's an eight all the see these are all like mixed up oh there's a rocket uh alakazam we would have taken that I was really hoping for this to come back in a 10. It's okay that it didn't. I opened this on the uh, on the channel. It was a Pikachu special edition box for generations, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. This is back to our childhood, guys. We love this. We love this meal. We would have loved to see that in a 10, but we will take it. A sit get get out of here. Get the Oh! I wasn't even looking at the grade. I was just looking at the card. We end it with a PSA 10. We take that. We will take these. Fossil Zapdos. Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. If you guys enjoyed that episode, we don't do returns usually, but this is literally at the core of what I love about this TCG. It's getting those big grades back. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to see you guys on the next live or the next episode. Don't forget to comment down below. Peace. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's time to hit the button already. Do it now. What do you think, I'm dancing for free here?